Hey guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. So today I'm gonna to be doing an install on my 2018 Harley-Davidson Heritage 114. Now, the Harley-Davidson Heritage does not come with crash bars stock. So when I was searching for the guard that I wanted to go with, I stumbled across uh, on Get Lowered Cycles uh, website, which I will link in the description down below. Now I do have affiliate links with Get Lowered Cycles, but I did buy this engine guard full value cash, just the same as you would. This is the Cobra V freeway bars. I'll tell you that they are packaged up real nice. Here you have the hardware and instructions. It may or may not fit because of the ultra cool uh, oil cooler that I have on the bike, which is uh, sitting up on the frame very well might cause some issues. So here you have the engine guard. This finish is really, really nice. It's uh, just a very, very good powder coat um, black. We are going to mock this up right now and see how this fits with the ultra cool oil cooler on the bike. Just kind of set this up and see if we get the clearance. And the answer is we do not. So we'll just turn that out of the way for now. So it appears as if this is a pretty straightforward installation, basically three bolts. Okay, now the first thing I'm gonna do here. Oh no! is just thread these bolts in to get it uh, roughed in where I need it. Just get the hardware, or what I intend on doing here, is just getting the hardware uh, in the spot it needs to be, and then that way um, I can wrestle with it without it scraping anything up. And I'll go around to the other side of the bike, do the same thing. It is now the following day because I had to run to Home Depot and pick up some uh, washers. Let me go ahead and I'll show you guys uh, what it is I'm running into here and what I'm going to do. So what you can see is that the oil cooler uh, actually hits and it creates a gap between the bracket and the, uh, the frame. So I just picked up some washers uh, and a longer cap screw to, um, to do this. The uh, bolt that I bought here is too long, so I'm gonna have to cut this down. we have it. We'll just go ahead and tighten down the frame mounts down here. Okay, so as you can see now, there is the gap here between the uh, oil cooler. It's uh, about a quarter inch, which is all I needed. And there is the engine guard. You can see here, you do have uh, just enough gap in between the ultra cool oil cooler bracket and the engine guard. Now, uh, what I like about this, 
obviously is with the engine guards now, you can uh, put some highway uh, pegs on there <laughs> and flip flops. I'll take this out on the road in a little bit, but the mustache bar is like up here and I wanted something that was maybe a little uh, more relaxed uh, for a highway peg. And uh, that is why I went with this engine guard. I'll actually put on some uh, jeans and some boots and uh, go out for a ride. And uh, we'll see how this thing holds up vibration wise because I did modify it. Again, that is not manufacturer recommendation, but uh, just something that I shade tree mechanic my way through. So let's go ahead and get out on the road. This project got a little bit more involved than I had anticipated, like they always do. But this is actually a super straightforward installation for 99% of people out there. My issue was with the oil cooler uh, in the way. So those washers that I put on, they worked fine. I actually rode the bike for about two weeks with those washers on there. I then also decided I wanted to do a highway peg installation, which uh, Serial 3D also sent me. So I'll get to that in a moment. So what I did to uh, resolve some of the rocking issue, which wasn't even that bad. As a matter of fact, I probably could have left it alone. But in all reality, with an engine guard, if the bike goes over, you want to have a little bit of meat at that center point where all of that uh, leverage is basically going to hit. So what I did was I took some aluminum flat stock. I cut it into three or four lengths uh, that I just stacked on top of each other. I then coated that in a plasti dip because Aluminum and steel can have a uh, negative uh, corrosion effect together. Uh, I didn't really worry too much about that because the frame on the bike is powder coated. Uh, so there already is separation there. Uh, but just to be safe, I plastic dipped it and installed it here. And it worked out uh, really great actually. So now there really is no side to side play and it shimmed out a half inch and it worked out perfect. Now the foot pegs that I went with here is uh, it's the Zero 3D foot pegs. I'll link in the description down below uh, what the products are. Uh, I had actually asked for the wrong ones uh, accidentally without the uh, clevis, so I will include uh, the link in the description down below uh, with the ones that are the appropriate ones with the clevis so that you guys don't order the, uh, the wrong thing as I did. Uh, now again, uh, Ciro did send these out to me, uh, so I, I do thank Ciro uh, for that relationship and I'll uh, link them in the description down below. I will also link the Cobra V highway bar uh, that's uh, on the bike uh, from Get Lowered Cycles. Uh, I did buy that myself and uh, I do have an affiliate link with Get Lowered Cycles. So I'll include that uh, as well. I do like the uh, taper at the bottom. Uh, now the reason why I didn't go with the mustache bar was because the mustache bar kind of puts you up, in my opinion, like in a weird place up uh, on the tank here sort of high it will be a little bit lower than where the top of this bar is but i wanted to be uh, kind of out a little bit a little bit more uh, away from the tank in my opinion just seemed like it was a little bit more comfortable it worked out great i'm actually really happy with this setup now with these serial foot pegs uh, it is a hingeless clamp so there is no uh, pins to rust uh, or fall out so it should be a, a nice long lasting uh, uh, highway peg. There's also no spline hardware or anything with these, so installation is a total breeze. Uh, the design of them actually works out really nice, where you uh, basically just pull them apart, uh, put them together. There's one bolt that pulls the bracket together, uh, and then the foot peg just installs on there. Uh, those clamps are made of uh, forged aluminum, so uh, nice, lightweight, and strong. Uh, you really can't go wrong with these things. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna include a link in the description down below. Uh, they do have real nice detents in here, so they stay up uh, in the wind. They don't uh, get blown down, which is really nice. Uh, they stay nice and tied up to the engine guard, and then when you want them down, you just pop them down, and they're there for you when you need them. Uh, so I'm real happy with this setup. It did get quite complex uh, for me, just because of, again, the uh, oil cooler that I have on the bike. Now, I'm going to link uh, the oil cooler video up above. You can check that out with uh, the results that I had with it. Uh, so I've had great luck with this Ultra Cool. I love it. So when it came time to put a highway bar uh, on this bike, I wanted a way to actually be able to uh, and keep that on there and not have it be in the way. So shimming out that uh, guard worked out perfect for me. So with that being said, guys, that wraps up my Cobra V uh, highway bar installation along with the Ciro 
3D foot pegs. So thank you guys very much for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, please hit the subscribe button down below. Remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. I will see you guys next time.